In a world where gamers have infinite choices at their fingertips, one man seeks to uncover the crap and find the ultimate gems, to denounce deception and explore the creative new world ahead. His name is Josh, and Josh plays. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Josh Plays. Let me remind you before I get right into it, to like, share, comment, and subscribe on this video so you don't miss an upload as soon as those go up. Today we're going to be looking at F-Zero X on the Super Nintendo, a game that really revolutionized the parallax scrolling effect that Super Metroid and Super Mario Kart really utilized in the Ninten Super Nintendo's lifetime um, at that period of gaming. So we're going to jump right in. Thank you for watching. Let's do this. All right. Oh, hey, baby. The cat's on, over here looking at me now. All right, let's do this. And not. I'm gonna be honest. Like one thing about F Zero, never been good at it. So bear with me as I clear the rust up, dust it off, dust off my controller on this game. Skills. I always felt like the tracks were so uh, difficult to navigate because of the, sh the sharp ass turns. I remember getting Nintendo 64 and one of my earliest titles for it was the F-Zero 64. Um, when I got it for Christmas that year. And I think I had like three other, two or three other games, including I think our Green of Time being one. So when I came to playing the F-Zero game, I think I played that one probably the least, just given how bad I was at it. Um, I was just fascinated with the graphical engine of it. Um, but yeah, I just, I could never like a good at F-Zero. And I, my understanding, and I could be wrong, but I think that game's at least no 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 I'm sorry it's the one for the GameCube but the GameCube F Zero has a very big following and till this day maintains a pretty big uh, multiplayer uh, competitive level with um, retro gamers. It's the one I hear the most uh, frequently brought up as like the pinnacle of the F Zero series, if you will. All right, first place. Let's see if I can maintain. They make you do five laps, like unlike pretty much every other racing game, which is three. Believe that I saw two laps left. Let's see if I can maintain. And for those not in the now, the character of Captain Falcon, made famously. Uh, known by uh, the game Super Smash Brothers, originated here on uh, F Zero for the Super Nintendo. Fuck, come on. No. Of course, one last lap. Now they catch up. Come on. Yeah, there's like a skill to the turns in this game and how you take them. And how you slow down at the same time, and there's definitely a skill to like how you drive. It's insane. Nice. I'll take it. I'll tell you, getting uh, number one. It's not easy in these races for this game. Pink blue. Alright, I'm gonna do this, motherfuckers. See what I mean, though? These levels, they're just, like, really cramped. And they throw, like, a shitload of razors, especially when it gets into the later titles, like F Zero for the place, the, or the GameCube in 64. Look at that turn, Jesus. It's asking for a death. I don't know, if I, let's see if I can rank one again, I doubt it. I feel like I still got lucky as it was getting that last one. Man, 
And what's interesting is like there's other racers that are aren't ranked on the track in F Zero. Unlike most racers, it's like an unusual trait. Um, that no one really points out about the series that that's unique to F Zero specifically. But yeah, I mean. Mario Kart did it effectively, the parallax scrolling, but come on, these tracks look great for the kind of visual illusion that you're playing in a 3D environment almost. Like I said, uh, I know Super Metroid, I, even Castlevania 4 has a couple moments that use excellent parallax uh, effects, scrolling effects. But I mean, these racing games to me just like really push the Ninte Super Nintendo's ability to do so. I mean,. Hell, you had games like Stunt Racer FX back then and Star Fox that were generating 3D polygonal models for the console with the chip that it was afforded to it. Super Nintendo was a good system. It was a... To me, I always felt like it was capable of doing just a level of things that the Genesis weren't doing. And if when Genesis did do it, it never really matched it in the same... Maybe it's not, maybe not quality, that's not the word, but the same energy, the same X factor that Nintendo kind of brought to the idea, even if it was the same one. I always felt like Nintendo kind of had a better grasp on how to execute those ideas. Yes, let's see if I can maintain a one more lap, I think. But yeah, that's always been my kind of uh, my standing on the F Zero series. One more lap, guys. You got this. Don't fuck up. This is the hard part right there. It's like bumper carts that are the added players. Alright, cool. There we go. This is a real crampy level, huh? First death. Let's do it one more time. This is a skinny level, no wonder. Look at that turn, Jesus. Jesus, dude. What a level. Fuckers. Mm. 
Fuck. This is hard. How do I... What the fuck? Why do I keep dying there? Even if it takes second, like, fuck this asshole. Even if I don't pass him. I don't want to die. That's, like, the main thing. This level, like, is inducing death now, like, which is just ridiculous. Please don't die. Let me just get past these guys without any drama.
try a different one. I hate when that shit happens. That's when you start blowing up. Come on. Stop bumping into me. This ain't fucking bumper cars. It's race, guys. so much damage when you hit the sides of those walls bro come on Josh let's take this shit Get first place and don't die. That's the goal. Don't do this to me. Fuck! This shit does so much damage, it's like once you get caught in like a loop where you're just bouncing around on the edges, you're fucked. You're pretty much done because you don't have enough life to survive the three more laps. Stupid, dude. Look how much. Look at that, dude. I'm done. One more. It's like. Ah! One more game over, I'm out of this bitch, dude, so. Fuck.
Fuck, man. Shit! That is it. We'll stop right there. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. That's F Zero uh, uh, X on the Super Nintendo. Again, thank you for watching. Man, I will see you on the next one.